Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shannon Plays. Welcome back to Nether Flanders. We just finished uh, the Colony Mohican, so we're going to go ahead. Oh, we can't sell it. That's right. Oh, yeah, we can. He just finished coring it. God damn, this guy's timing is amazing. I'm like, oh, we can't sell it. He's still coring it. No, he just finished. Perfect. Eat it. There you go. Excellent. And we're also almost done with Muncie, so we'll go get Nipigon, and that'll do it for the coastline. And then he can finish colonizing all the interior. And uh, then it's going to be time for maybe some wars with the natives. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just ignore the new world. We'll let our colony do his thing. We'll see. Uh, we just finished a war with Bremen. I don't know why I declared that war. I feel kind of stupid for declaring that war. But uh, it's not the end of the world. How are we doing with the whole voting us in thing? Well, we're still going to be emperor, but just barely. Holy shit. Oh man, we are so far behind Tyrol in these people's opinions. Tyrol's voting for himself, Salzburg's voting for Tyrol, and Nuremberg is voting for Tyrol. Damn. We have a truce with Nyatra for a while. Oh right, we wanted to annex Toulouse. Okay, so when you get relations up with Toulouse. And also with Apulia. Get them ready for annexing. Good. Let's do it. Austria has declared war on Tyrol, Styria, Pomerania, Würzburg, Passau, Nuremberg, Salzburg, and Stiermark. Holy shit, Austria. You're a crazy man. But good for him is he has cores on these three. So this is a good time for him to go to war. The problem is I don't want Italy taking any of this land. So they better not. They better fucking not. What are we going to use all this money on? Jesus. More forts, I guess? Sure. Looks good. about it. Okay. Sunda colony is almost done. Probably head over to Damik. Yes, you can have access to Nuremberg. No problem. It's almost time to tech up our Diplo. And I think we should start annexing someone before our Diplo hits max. Alright, Toulouse, you're ready to go. Come on back. Give him a gift. Bingo. Goodbye, Toulouse. Gonna cost 330 Diplo power. Ooh, mercantilism. I like mercantilism. Right, is the war over? The war is over. But you didn't take any land in the world. Tyrol will annul treaties with Stiermark. What a shitty peace deal, Austria. Here I thought you were going to retake your cores. But no, all you do is you made Tyrol break his alliance with Stiermark. What a joke. <laughs> what a silly peace deal. Am I interested in forming the HRE? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Not super interested. I mean, it's an option. Okay, Toulouse is annexing. Apulia is two months away from starting. Sicily is a few years away, right? In 1625. That's okay. Sicily will be soon enough. The Evangelic Union. Ooh. Uh-oh. We're going to piss people off if we do this. Oh, God. This is going to piss off all the Catholics. But it's going to make all the reformed people like us. I think I have to stay neutral here. Because there's just not enough reformed people. There goes 30 prestige. Damn it. Oh well, no big deal. No big loss.
Ooh, Susquehannock broke their alliance with Iroquois. Ho ho! Yeah. The honeymoon is over. Susquehannock has run out of people to annex, and he's like, fuck it, I'll just annex the Iroquois. <laughs> All right, so we're almost done here. Please finish that colony. Please. There we go. Oh, we don't have an extra colonist to spend. Derp. Uh, well, we won't need the one in Diego Garcia. That is just not necessary. There's no natives there, so we'll use that guy. There we go. Great. All right, Apulia, is it time? Is it time, Apulia? It is time. Annex Apulia. Can't believe Austria just peaced out for that. That was such a shitty piece. Are we going to colonize in the future? Yeah, believe it or not, we're going to colonize in the future. It's amazing. How did you know we were going to colonize in the future? <laughs> oh, goodness. Now, we could do some level 4 forts, but I don't think those are necessary. I think level 3s are going to be perfectly fine. So what other military buildings can we get? We can get some more armories. Wait, but we don't need them, do we? We have tons. Well, we'll do them anyway. When we're ahead on military tech, we might as well spend our points. Now, have you finished coring this yet? He has not started coring. God damn it. He has not started coring it. Okay. Bavaria, have you moved your army? Bavaria? Let me give him some subsidies. Give him 11 ducats. Sure. I want you to beat the crap out of uh, Germany. They white pieced. You're fucking kidding me. Bavaria, I hate you so much right now. That just sucks. I fully ex He's got claims on it. I fully expected him to do something with that claim. But he didn't. He chose to do nothing. Oh well. Oh god, Finn is getting wrecked. There's like nothing left. Is Russia even fighting these guys? Oh yeah, okay, Russia's invading Hungary. What's going on on the border here? Nothing. How many times have Poland and Lithuania been at war with Russia? And they never take any land from each other. Never! Nobody's sieging up this land, and nobody's sieging up this land. Well, some rebels, but rebels don't count. That is just so weird. It's like they love being at war, but they don't... Oh, Lithuania peaced out. But Poland's still in it. Nah, who knows? Who knows? All right, I'm going to spring for an explorer again, because we haven't had one in a while. Oh, he actually has two maneuver, so he's actually going to be pretty decent. Let's go exploring, man. Let's go see what's what. Finn will cede Reykjavik to Norway. Finn will release Pojanma as sovereign states. Pojanma? Where the fuck is Pojama? I don't even know. Oh, is that Iceland? No. That was Reykjavik, okay. I don't know, but Sweden Sweden took no land. <clears throat> Sweden just gave land to Norway. How weird. Come on, little two maneuver guy. Nicholas Natchtegal. Hello, Nicholas Natchtegal. Wow, 
Wow. Even with two maneuver, he's still not finding a lot of... Oh, he found Rayon. He's still not finding a lot of stuff. Oh, well. A lot of forts are finishing. Good, good. Aha, Puglia's done. Man, that was the fastest integration ever. Great. Do we need your, your soldiers? No, but we'll keep them. And your ships? I think we'll just delete those. Back from Apulia. Working on Luxembourg, Swabia, and Munster. Yeah, go back to Swabia. Oh, hello, Korea. What's up? Oh, Ching. What the fuck? Why does Ching exist? Why does Ching exist? And there's Manchu army. No, that's a Ching army. Alright. Why does Ching exist? I don't know. Uh, just come back and dock up. This guy's getting pretty hurt out there. Did we have any other explorers? No. I mean, any other caravels or anything? Light ships? No. Okay. Are you coring this yet? You son of a bitch. Oh, good. He's coring it now. I was worried he wouldn't core it. I was worried he might be bugged or something. But he is coring it. Pojanma is Finland. Ah, okay, that's what it is. Pojanma is Finland. Good to know. Alright, I'm going to steal this colonist because we don't need him there. We're going to go here. Yeah, might as well. Get the islands. And down here, let's recruit some guys. There we go. We're building those so we can colonize around that area. There's too many natives. Oh, more ships. Trade ships. Okay. Um, sure. Go do... Lubeck. Yeah. Keep stealing trade from Lubeck. Silly Catholics. Uh-oh. Rebels. Ah, he's got it under control. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, shit. He's got rebels. No. No, but look, you've converted it. Oh, shit. Uh, can I get access over here and go fix that? Yeah. But I... Nah, whatever. Let him fall if he falls. It's his own damn fault. Right? Holy shit, we're running out of places to convert. That's fantastic. Are you ready to die, Toulouse? Are you ready to die, Toulouse? Why is chat in the bottom left? Um, because people couldn't see how much Imperial authority we have. But now I can tell you we have zero. So I'll move back to the bottom right. Uh, you want a replacement? Okay, military guy. I want to see if I can get my colony to start fighting the natives. That'd be great. Still not done coring it? All right, well, hurry up. Lazy git. How long until we can go to war with Bohemia? Two years, okay.
Aha, Germany lost his union. Great. So Slavonia is independent. Uh, we can go to war with them and convert them as soon as our truce is up. Perfect. Hungary will cede Moldavia to Russia. So Russia did take land in that war, but he's still... Where was Sweden and Pomerania? Okay. Poor Hungary. Chat delay? That's nah, not that bad. Goodbye, Toulouse. Nice knowing you. All right, add shit to the empire. Sure. And these we can't add. Because <laughs> they're just too far away. That's too bad. Bulgaria, Salzburg, Sunni Caliphate. We have six trade ships in the Mediterranean. Uh, you mean those six? Yeah, we already brought them back. All right, Explorer. Let's keep exploring, shall we? I wish there was an auto-explore feature. I very much like that from uh, the Civ series. Because right now, I'm feeling so lazy that I don't want to send this guy around manually. But I have to. Uh... Sure, let's go to Australia. Finn will cede Skane to Sweden. Russia will annul treaties with Sweden. Oh, good. Russia lost his alliance with Sweden. Or with Finn. So Finn's independent now. So we could go take those and then release Denmark uh, as a vassal. Okay. Do I want to do that now or should I start annexing Sicily first? Hmm... Well, he'll get another alliance if we wait. So... I think we should do it now. Let my vassals do the war. I don't really feel like doing it. Go get him, Sicily. <laughs> oh shit, lose 33 prestige or lose stability. I really hate complaints about the bailiff. 33 prestige is excessive, man. Hello, Mayoki. Oh, Lithuania has a regency. Can they get their union? No, they can't. Oh, shit. Poland no longer has the right dynasty. God damn it. Poland, you son of a bitch. Hold on, let me move my, some of my stuff on the desk around. There we go. So Poland lost the lost the dynasty that he needed to uh, get the union over Lithuania. That's too bad. I was kind of hoping he would get that union. Oh well. Get relations back up with Bremen. There you go. Why are you at war? Brandenburg. Oh, because Brandenburg's at war with 
What? Brandenburg Conquest of Lauenburg. Lauenburg. Oh, cool. Yeah, Brandenburg wants that. That's great. That'll that'll be good because he's the right religion. Bremen's not. Send diplomat for support lection. What does support lection mean? Poland declared war on Transylvania. Okay. Your PC overheats, so you can't play EU4. Oh no, the Emperor is dead. But we've been re-elected. Good, good. Support Baroque music. Sure, why not? All right. Paul of the Netherlands is the new Emperor. All hail Emperor Paul de Cantabria. He's not the best as far as stats. And apparently we have no heir. We have no heir. Oh, shit. Well, hurry up and make babies. Make babies. We'll get our marriages back, of course. Make babies, get heir, move on. I can click a thing. Dissolution of the monasteries. National tax goes up, stability cost goes up. Hell. All right, we're back. Uh, I have autosaves every six months. So we only lost a few months of time. I think it was April or something, January, whatever. We're still in the war. So it's fine, I think. Not really a big deal. Uh, we need to go invade, though. Oh, we're going to have to use our transports. Transports. Come pick up some dudes. I sound so calm. I think it's because I haven't really fully awoken yet. Awoken? I'm still tired. I didn't sleep very well. And it's still early morning. Well, no, it's not. It's 1030. I've been up for four hours. But it's early enough that I can complain about it. Explorer, go explore. But you know what? What didn't happen because of the crash is our emperor is not dead yet. I wonder if the dying emperor is what caused the crash. That would indeed be weird. Alright, I can see Australia. Let's go find uh, something cool down here. In the meantime, where's my transports? There you are. Come on over. Calvinism in the Netherlands. Netherlands gets Calvinism till the end of the game. Stability costs 10% more. Tolerance goes up, but tolerance of heretics goes down. Or, oh, Gomarism or Arndt. Let me read this. In a clerical meeting in Dordrecht, 1618-1619, hardline Calvinism was made state religion. This was the end of a long struggle between pluralistic and humanitarian faction, the, Ar the Arminians and a dogmatic and a dogmatic, narrow-minded, true Calvinistic faction, the Gomorists. Moritz of Oranian supported the Gomorists, composed mainly of a petty bourgeois and farmers, while Olden Byronveld supported the Arminians, composed of intellectuals and rich bourgeois. What's the difference? Tolerance of heretics versus tolerance of the true faith. I think I'd rather have tolerance of the true faith instead of tolerance of heretics. The more tolerance we have of heretics, the more provinces will flip to heretic religions. So I'd rather have more tolerance of the true faith. And either one we choose makes stability costs more, which really sucks. They both raise stability costs. We're going Gomerism, damn it. We're Gomerist. Gomerist. Gomer. Gomer. Gomer pile. So Brandenburg is going to take Lauenburg. That's great. Aha. Uh -huh. Great Barrier Reef. Good. Still no land, though. You gotta discover the land, you sack of shit. Why you call yourself an explorer if you don't actually find the land for me? We need you to find the land. You didn't find the land. God, this guy's an idiot. Anyway, go dock up. Try not to die on the way. He'll probably be fine. He's got speed, too. He's probably fine. There we go. Boonjalung. Nice. All right, can I steal a colonist? Uh, yes, I can. All right, Bourbon, you don't need a colonist. You're almost done anyway. Boonjalung, that's where it's at. Oh, I don't have the range. 
898 versus 831. What about if we tech up? Yeah. There we go. Just had the tech up, that's all. Great, we're colonizing Australia. You could have skipped history classes and just watched this stream to get your history. Maybe. I'm not sure how accurate it would have been. Lose a thousand colonists or spend 50 diplo points. Nunavik is at 135. Do we want to lose 135 colonists? Well, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, sure, we'll lose the colony. Whatever. Alright, off the boat you go. And I'll steal the guy once he arrives in the Cocos Islands. There we go. You don't need him. The natives don't really harm you there. And come back to Nunavik. There you go. Silly game, you can't uncolonize. Them's not allowed. Hmm? Slavonia entered a military alliance with Germany. Okay. Oh, Utsi Vlut. Our exploring fleet arrived. Utsi Vlut. Oh, I love that name. Ust. <laughs> Eastern Sea Fleet. Right? East Sea Fleet. That's hilarious. Just the way things are spelled. It amuses me. More troops. Actually, let's go straight to his capital. Yeah. That'll make him think twice. The Calvinist thing from there was part of your history exam? Neat. I'm sure I learned it at some point, but probably not to the extent that people uh, in Europe did. Here in the States, at least when I was going through school, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of focus on the religious changes like from Catholic to Protestantism and stuff. They covered it, they talked about it, but they didn't really talk about all the uh, heresies and things that were floating around at the time. All the different opinions on what kind of religion should be accepted or should be professed. Oh, I can add these to the empire now. Yes, good. But since, since we did a loading, the guy wound up not dying. He's 72 and he didn't die. Hmm. I wonder if that means there's a chance we might spawn with an heir this time, because last time we didn't have an heir. But this time, who knows? Okay, a colony arrived in Nunavik. I think I'm going to take him out again. We still have money coming in, so... How close are we on Sunda? We're pretty much done on Sunda, so I'm going to start sending the guy to... Damik? Sure. Because it's going to be a while before uh, he arrives. Yeah, 560 days till he arrives in Damik. That's fine. Alright, troops are getting ready here. And these are just so we can colonize some of this coast of Africa, which is very high native population. Although the base tax is garbage. Base 1, base 1. Although these base 4. Base 4 is nice. But yeah, let's go ahead and meet up in Little Karoo. Two things you can't stand, people in tolerance of each other's cultures and the Dutch. Yeah. Heard that before. Poland and next Transylvania. Goodbye, Transylvania. And we can do our military tech. We're finally not ahead. Yay. Now we are 11 years ahead. <laughs> oh, we get a cannon upgrade. Nice. Oh, something else? Cavalry. Cool. And the honeymoon is indeed over. Susquehannock has just declared war on the Iroquois. Goodbye, Iroquois. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, he finished coring Mohican, so after this war we can sell him Muncie. Good. Yeah, I was really worried he wouldn't core that, but he did. He did. He cored it. It's fine.
There we go. The Emperor is dead. Did we get an heir this time? We did. God, the randomness in this game is so cool. And this guy's okay. Strong claim, 333. I'll take it. That is not bad. 10 more Imperial Authority. We're up to 16. Oh, man. Munster is not happy with us. An next vassal, negative 65. Yeah. We'll have to work on him. And we should finish this colony relatively quickly. How's our explorer man? Oh, he's ready to rock. All right, let's use him again. Uh, let's go this way. And then up here, here. Come up here. And then come around again. There you go. No, we don't want dissolution of the monasteries. We already know what that does. We don't want it. Ah, we converted Perennio. Nice. You can have a general and go kill him. Convert. I don't know. Convert whatever. Oh my god. Barcelona will take 59 months. 59 months. Wow. Fucking base 13 tax. Well, we'll have to do it, I guess. Damn, 59 months. That's a long-ass time to convert one province. I mean, I've seen longer. That's what she said. But considering we have full religious ideas, I'm surprised. Oh, shit. One of our, king one of our generals died. Damn it. Come on now. Find Australia. It's right there. Find it. It's right there. There it is. Neat. Central Australia. Cool. There goes Midland. Move on. Well, at least he's finding the coastline here. And then go back and dock up. Oh, cool. My vassal Sicily is dropping troops off. He dropped off one soldier. Nice. Good job, vassal. Let's go pick up these idiots and move on. I'll go help. Hello. Hope you don't mind. Insta squish. <laughs> you know what, though? We're out of time for this episode today. Thanks for joining me, guys. Sorry about the crash in there. But I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.